And greetings, everybody. Welcome back. This is V Rising. We're gonna change our focus. Let's uh, let's let's switch from zombies to vampires. Uh, I am your host, Formithrax, and uh, I am going to play this game. So, um, let's talk about. So it's a uh, more vampire focused. It's a uh, re recent release in the um, crafting, building. Um, grinding and materials, fighting enemies, um, you know, adventure game type stuff. Um, so I'm very interested in it. It looks pretty cool. It's gotten a lot of attention in recent weeks since it got released and, uh, we're going to check it out. Uh, my plan is to check it out in single player for a bit. I'm not going to play probably through the whole thing in single player, but, uh, I'll probably put a, a couple, uh, episodes in, in the single player so I can just kind of get a basic idea of the game, the gameplay and all the various functions and features. Um, then I'll probably switch the uh, main focus over to a community server game where I can, uh, I can play with some buddies. Um, so that's kind of the plan. So, uh, hope you'll enjoy joining with me to check out, uh, V Rising. Uh, I have seen the first about 10 to 15 minutes of the game. I just jumped in and, uh, ran through the very intro area to, uh, make sure my settings were working for recording and, uh, get the real basics of the, uh, the control scheme down and all that. But we're going to go ahead and repeat all that. I'll start a brand new fresh game. And um, after that first 10 or 15 minutes, it'll be all brand new to me. Um, I know some basic things about it. I've been loosely following, uh, paying attention to some of the uh, videos on it and um, game reports and all that, but um, very much not in depth. So let's hit play. We're going to go uh, private game. Uh, Vormithrax's world, sure. Uh, we'll call it number two for no real reason. PVE only, clan size doesn't matter, standard PVE, a lot of settings, a lot of options, really like that. Um, tons of ways you can modify the world setup and the PvP, PVE setups and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to go solo play only, so don't have to worry about any of that. Advanced game settings gives you kind of an idea of a lot of the various things you can adjust when you're setting up a brand new world and or server. Which is great. I'm just going to leave everything pretty much alone in whatever the default settings are because I have no real understanding what any of it means, what it does, how it's balanced, not balanced, what my preferences might be. Uh, once we know the game a little better, we'll start diving into some adjustments to uh, find our own our own fun factor. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're all set. I believe we're going to go through... I don't remember if it does the... Um, the video and uh, intro stuff or not, but we'll find out. As always, let me know if uh, sound balance needs to be adjusted with uh, each new game. I always end up having to fiddle with some things. <clears throat> okay, let's be uh, that type. And what do you think? Randomize... That's kind of creepy looking. Let's be an albino vampire. I want to be an albino vampire. I want to be a bald albino vampire. Uh, hairstyle. There we go. Eye color's not quite right. What do I want? I want red? Orange? Yeah, I don't like orange. It's a little bright. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm probably never going to... Well, I, I guess since it's a third-person perspective, I'll be looking at the back of my own head most often, so I don't really care. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Well, that's fine. We, of course, are Vormithrax. I could be Count Vormithrax. Let's just be Vormithrax. All right. Nice, plain, creepy smile. Gold, gold glowy eyes. I don't know. What do we got? Some kind of gold foil on our pointy ears. And eh, whatever that is. It's all good. Free eight. All right. We're not going to get the intro movie, <clears throat> which is fine. So the intro movie is a short uh, video montage showing the, uh, the downfall of the vampiric nation. Vampires basically ruled the kingdom and, uh, 
They were overthrown by their human servants and uh, the general human population with some ch human champion. And uh, they've now been, uh, you know, hiding. They've been hiding underground in crypts and so on. And a bunch of time has passed and now we're going to rise and retake control of the, uh, the kingdom. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hit space. Okay, so pretty standard interface for the most part. We got some quests they're going to give me up here in the top left corner. Uh, we've got a sundial, literally a sundial, showing me a day-night cycle, which is very important. Our mini map's not active yet. As soon as we get out of this starter area, it will be, and hotkeys for going into various things. Um, hotkeys for activating weapons and all that. My blood meter, my blood pool. Which I know a little bit about the blood system in the game. It is uh, vampire-centric and focused, so blood is very important. And there's a lot of things going on with that whole system. Uh, and then abilities. We have some abilities. We have our primary attack. We have a veil of blood dash, uh, which gives us a bonus attack. And heals slightly. <coughs> Excuse me. A shadow bolt, long-ranged attack. And a blood rite, which I think is a counter. Uh, block melee projectile attacks. Heal you. Yeah, I think it's a counter. One problem I have is, uh, once again, this is a game that does not adjust in windowed mode for the bar at the top, so it ends up pushing the very bottom of the interface off the bottom of my monitor's uh, edge. So I can't see the hotkeys down there. <laughs> Space bar for the dash, R for the long ranged, and C for the counter. All right, I'll try to remember those. Space bar, no problem. R and C for those other two. I might change those. Um, yeah, so it's a uh, WASD for movement, mouse for aim direction and attack direction. Simple enough. We have a equipment screen, stats, we have a crafting screen. We'll get to that. All right, let's just follow. Uh, so collecting the remains of the bones of the dead will come to serve a new purpose. Collect bones 30, unlocks recipe bone sword. Hey there, Zerbius and friends. Welcome. All right. Oops. Stone. I'm just going to run out of this initial entry area. I don't know if there's particular things that would be uh, good to try to get or secret areas or anything like that. So, lots of breaking of stuff for uh, loot, for resources. A lot of pressing the F key to pick them up. <laughs> pressing on things accidentally. All right, down into the cemetery. Uh, what do we get? A crude sapphire, some stone, some lumber, and some bone. Been following you for a while from seven days. Just playing this, saw you playing it. Say hi. <laughs> With the V Rising category. Yes, I've played, you know, one or two hours of seven days today. Just a couple. All right, so we got the bones. Now we can uh, open up our crafting menu, craft the bone sword. There is a crafting queue. If you have raw materials, you can queue up multiple items. Um, it'll just auto-equip as soon as I finish the sword. Now we've got better attack values. What does it say? It says uh, three gear level, 5.2 physical power, 20% physical damage to vegetation. All right, so it's our salad chopper. A salad chopper. We'll give me some plant fibers and a rat. All right, let's keep moving. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got some knockback, some delay. They're never going to get to attack me, it looks like, while I'm swinging actively at them. I don't know if it's worth it going around picking up these individual bone items. <laughs> um... 
I just ran through this area the first time when I was just testing things. I don't know if there's a, like an optimal way through here. All right, what are you? Rotting ghoul. I gotta test this this counter thing. Yeah, that seemed pretty powerful. It's on the but the C key for that? That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, what do we got? Bone ring! Let's get the bone ring crafted. Keep moving. Come here, rat. So my blood pool is depleting. We're down to 3.9 out of 10 liters of blood type frailed. Blood quality 0%. Let's go ahead and uh, eat a rat. Or two. And let's go ahead and fill it up. Go to three. All right, so we're back to nearly full health, full blood pool. <laughs> Wonder if I can do that. Oops, timed it wrong. Come on. Yep, sure can. <laughs> More ratties. Alright, so it looks like the uh, ranged fire is actual physical direction and momentum, which is nice. Let's uh, not bother. Ooh, I don't like that I can get stuck behind terrain and it doesn't go to like invisible mode. I noticed it does it sometimes, but it doesn't seem to do it other times. It's kind of weird. Uh, hit enemies using Shadow Bolt. Oh, I got a Shadow Bolt somebody. Hey there, Raider. I'm in. I'm finally in. I'm, 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 I'm playing some Vampire Rising. a little bit we can get two of these things built but these need animal hides we gotta get to the next area to get animal hides and we'll queue up some vermin salve give it all to me keep running right up the middle now nah, I haven't played XCOM since any of the XCOM games since XCOM <laughs> played the first one quite a bit haven't played any of the XCOM games since <clears throat> all right I'm gonna go uh, last time I went east I'm gonna go east again for no particular reason I know the map is fixed so now we're out of the tutorial area we're into the main map area we can actually zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff uh, but I know the map world is fixed, so there are places to go, and there are rare resources in different locations, and uh, waypoint gates, which are teleporters, and <coughs> and all that kind of stuff. And my understanding is that finding a good place to put a castle, especially on PvP servers, is one of the more interesting slash 
challenging aspects of the gameplay. We break this fence. You. I gotta stop backing off and using that counter instead. Keep forgetting and backing off. I have no understanding or feel yet for raw material needs. Or if there are weight limits or anything like that, or is it just slot based? Looks like it's just slot based. I don't see anything that shows any kind of weight issues. <clears throat> Plant fibers get picked up auto magically. Okay. So this is as far into the game as I've been. I made it to this first thing, I backed away from it, and I I, I killed a few animals, I made these, <coughs> and I made the first two tools. And that's it. That's the extent of my experience with the game. Should be a wolf or some deer running around here somewhere, shouldn't there? It was last time. Oh, hey there, buddy. on him. 2%. 2%. We got a little bit of a movement speed buff. Alright. Uh, I don't know if this... Can you teleport somewhere without... Can't teleport while carrying resources. Huh. Alright. Okay. I'm not sure how that works, but sure. Um, so where are we at? Here's our day-night cycle. I assume this is the daylight hours and we're rolling towards it. So we are a vampire. I know that uh, we have to stay out of the sunlight. <clears throat> hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, which is a, a big part of the game. We'll actually start burning and taking pretty hefty and fast uh, damage if we don't stay out of the direct sunlight. back here. Ten percent. A little better. Alright, do we have enough now to make the other items? Yes, we do. And we'll do one more of those. Okay, so that'll get us the last of our initial armor pieces and some more salve, which I haven't used yet. Cover maximum health over time. Playing bone axes. Gear level. Gear level compared to the unit level of an enemy affects the damage you deal and receive against that enemy. Gear level has no effect versus other players. Alright. Uh, let's see. Looks like I can switch this stuff around too. Let's put... Uh, swap you guys. Put you there. So we got our bone sword. We got our axe. Chop down some trees. I don't want to chop trees down. That's what provides me shade. Two trees. <clears throat> Flame. Oh, nice. All right, the mace, we're going to smash rocks. Is it a good or a bad thing? I guess they're all the same type, creature type, so they get the same bonuses. Yeah. 
I gotta get faster at noticing what the percentage is. I don't know if it gives me any kind of bonus to do this when I'm already just freshly filled. All right, let's bring some rock. Uh-oh. Let's see how much we burn. Rock down. Game noise seems just a little loud to me. Um, what do you think? Is it, uh, is it effects? I don't think it's ambience. I think it's effects. It's that whack, whack, whack sound. It just seems a little, a little much. Uh, one more rock. While standing in the shade. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. Castle Heart and Borders. Construct and interact with a Castle Heart. Expand your territory by placing borders. This is as far as I've gotten. So everything from here forward is new to me. Uh, I don't think I want to just build uh, indiscriminately here. Um. Let's um, let's work our way west. I don't know how difficult the areas get or anything, but let's. I think I one of the very few things I remember seeing is there's. I think this spot here is supposed to be good for a castle. I don't know if I can get into these other. I think that spot looks like it might be built for a castle as well. But I like to be more centrally located. That way we can go either direction to the portals or whatever resources are in the area and we're more central to this kind of a the, the Fairbane Woods zone. Well, let's just travel a bit. Let's try to stay alive in the uh, the sunshine here. See what we see. I don't know if maybe now's a good time to just gather materials. Uh, instead of getting into fights where I'm going to burn when I accidentally step into the light. What are we on? Like a one-third daylight, two-thirds nighttime? <clears throat> Excuse me. Assuming also that we have a durability system for the gear. Uh, 8.11 out of 8.17, 7.88 out of 8.17. So yeah, so we have a durability system. I don't know if there's a repair process. I don't see a repair option anywhere, or if it's just... Wear them down and then they break and you make a new one. And or you replace it with a better one before you get to that point. So, all right. Yeah, let's, let's grab some basic raw materials first while we're here in this safish area. Rats go bad? <laughs> Do I have spoilage time on my live rats that I'm picking up? So, there's sunshine. There's the pain. Didn't quite catch on fire and start taking damage, but that gives you an idea apparently how long you got. Oh, we're already starting to shift. Alright, uh, get to this rock. Rotate the screen. Screen cannot be rotated, it looks like. Movement! Auto, auto run? Really? Auto run? 
jump from cliffs we know about. Action wheel. Powers. Oh, repair item and inventory. Middle mouse button. See, they're hiding it from me. Hmm. Alright, so no rotating the screen, apparently. Um, so, middle mouse button. Did that take resources? <laughs> 57. This has got to be what? Durability. Rep oh, I see. Repair. One bone to repair. Simple enough. And the sun is going down. Eight percent, huh? Sure. Caught me off. What else did I get there? A tainted heart refined in a blood essence by using a blood press. Can also be consumed to gain a small amount of blood. Alters your blood type to frailed. Yeah, we'll just hold on to that. All right, so where are we going? We're going to follow the Yellow Brick Road and a northwest. Ah, uh, let's get some of these rocks. <clears throat> so we've got... Uh, Gathering materials, we've got crafting systems, you got a base building system, uh, clans, PvP, should you desire that. And I know a big part of the game is... Where do I... Mm, which one was it? No, nope, not that one. Not the map. Ah, blood. Ah, blood. Uh... Hunt powerful V-blood carriers and drink their blood to claim their power and knowledge as your own. So Alpha Wolf is the first one that we would go after. And his powers is the wolf form. Turn into a swift creature, increasing your movement speed by 45%. Taking damage breaks the effect. Um, there's like 37 different bosses in the game currently. That you can uh, hunt down and try to get special abilities from or some kind of advantage. Um, which I think is the other big part of the game. can hit both of them. Why am I hitting this one harder than this one, though? <laughs> that seemed a little weird. I was getting six at a time here, but only one at a time here. assume just basics like stone and, and wood are fairly common to come by. Yeah, it's doing it again. I'm getting multiple here, but I'm only getting one there. I'm assuming now it's reversed. So it seems like there's a primary target and secondary target you do less damage to. What is that back there? Is that like a thing? What are you? You look like a thing. Attack level too low. Attack level too low for what? Is that like copper? Why won't it like... You're not going to tell me what it is? I got to... Yep, I get some kind of notification. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what's flipping onto my screen there. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's just me. All right, I think that's copper or something. I'm gonna guess. Let's keep moving. I 
What's our cooldown on that thing? Eight seconds. Alright, we got plenty of plenty of time to go. Let's go, uh, let's take the low road for this first trip. Why is it showing me my travel path here? Is this, is this useful in some way? Can't zoom it in that way, but I can zoom it this way. Hmm. Okay. Uh-oh. We're looking at poachers, level 16. That sounds painful. shot while I'm feeding. That's not cool. It seemed unreasonably easy for the uh, difficulty. Although I guess 10 to 16 is not all that much. Paper, huh? I got some paper. We got some cute flowers. Fire Blossom. Uh-oh. Level 1 skeletons. Not worried about level 1 skeletons. Alright, about halfway through our night. I was hoping to get to the new location before it got daylight. I'm not sure I'm going to manage that if I don't just keep moving. Where are we? Alright, keep going north. <clears throat> So steps up to a plateau. Yeah, that's one of the obvious looking castle type location things. We're not going to take advantage of that one. Oh, we can rotate. Hey, thanks for telling me. Seemed a little weird if I couldn't rotate the camera. Why did it not mention it? Did I miss it in the op in the controls? <laughs> oh, there we go. I did miss it. Totally missed it. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we got kind of a yellowish area. Infested graveyard, old cemetery forgotten and lost to the wilderness. Important loot, grave dust, mourning, lily, and bone. All right, so it's a special area of some kind. This is where I'm trying to get to. So just down the road, we have this special area. What level? 16 again? Heart. Another way into the graveyard and a wolf den. Animal hides. Okay, just ahead of me. Uh, what is that an entrance and that an entrance? Uh oh, your puppy dogs. Keep moving. <clears throat> Let's see you back there fighting wolves. All right, so choice now. I can try to go off road to this one. I think I'll just follow the road up to here. Keep it simple.
All right, what do we get? Trappers, late team. Been detected. Ah, fancy. Camp. Oh, maybe there's an entrance right there. Can't quite tell. Yeah, it looks like there's a pathway up there. Again, copper, I'm assuming. What do we got? We got a little pond, a lot of trees. Whoa, big moose. <laughs> got <a> deer. <coughs> hmm. I don't know if I can I can do anything uh, to these walls or not during the build process or if I have to build within them. Uh, I'm only on about half of the ter territory. Hey. Hmm. I thought it was this whole plateau. Hmm. I guess it might be. All right. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with all this existing stuff when I try to start building here. <clears throat> Alright, daylight. So that's my route back up. Got the nice little pond. Howie. Think I'll clear the trees here and just start setting up a small initial castle right here in this area. Uh, let me experiment for a while. <clears throat> I'll figure some of the stuff out. A little 16 moose. Yeah. I gotta get used to trying to fight in... Uh, Fight while moving from shade spot to shade spot. Thought I was going to counter him. No, don't go outside. Alright, so question answered. <laughs> I'm going to harvest the local ruins for materials. level too low. Got like gem crystals. Oh, what are you? Stone bricks. Rah, I'm on fire. I wish you would tell me what material I'm looking at or hitting. Yeah. 
I'm gonna leave the big tree up for now. Let's get rid of these. Can't hide in the little bushes. Don't want to take these out yet. Um. I was hoping there's a shadow right there I could kind of hide in, but it appears not. Oh, no, maybe there is. Or the sun is... Oh, no. Yep, yep, we get it. I'd imagine there's a progression of tools where this will get faster as time goes by as well. Alright, just about to lose the sunlight. <clears throat> cool. Let's just take down these and maybe these. I think I probably have way more room than I actually need for the limited amount I'll try to do here initially. Alright, good enough. Let's try this thing. So, B for the build menu. We're going to put down a castle heart. Heart of your domain. As long as it contains blood essence, it will power your castle and keep it from decaying. You can expand your territory with borders and floors originating from the heart. If the heart is destroyed, your entire castle crumbles. Alright, so we got plenty of blood essences. Plenty of stone. Border. Expand your territory. Allows you to place objects and walls. Must originate from a castle heart. And wooden stairs. We need planks. So I need some intermediate uh, crafting thing. Castle. Stairs. Alright. Um, we're not really in the center of this whole big area here. But. I don't think I want to try to clear all that over there for now. 
Yeah, we'll just get an initial little one set up so I can see how things work. Seventy percent buildable space near this location. Eighty percent. Hmm. All right. Not really sure <coughs> the distinction there. Uh, let's go ahead and go right there. Well. Wolves just suddenly spawn as a pack? <laughs> Alright. Ouch. Hey, wolves. Hey now, I thought you were trapped on the edge. Youch! <laughs> Come here, you! Damn it! Thought I got the counter off that time. Probably should have fed on him. I didn't see the number. Oh well. Two percent? <laughs> Never mind then. Unless he was bigger than the standard guy. Castle is decaying. Feed the heart. Alright, we'll get to that. <clears throat> Castle Heart, so... Alright, Castle Heart, level 1. Upgrade it with copper ingots and leather. Castle Capacity, 30 borders total. 3 servant coffins. Castle Power, Castle's Decaying. Uh, so, Blood Essence. What if I don't want it to have all the Blood Essence? Right click just transfers the full amount. Cool. Um, hey. Claim walls and structures. Back to territory, placing palisades, place a wooden coffin, place a wooden stash. Alright, back to this thing here. I don't know if there's a reason for me to keep some of this or just to dump it all in here. I guess I'll just dump it all in. Also getting a little full on inventory slots, I see. All right, uh, build menu. Fundamentals, what do we got? Palisades, or wooden walls, wooden coffin, small stash, and a mist bridger. Doom's bones to generate a dense mist that blocks out the sun in the small area. Eh, shadow generator. Middle click to split stacks, all righty. Uh, do I want to keep my size at this kind of a minimum, or let's uh, let's break a few more things. <laughs> Okay. 
give me enough room to do another. Ooh, that's going to take a lot of sections. Uh, how do I get rid of a tree stump? I don't think I can get rid of this tree stump. I am not happy about that. Requires a connected castle heart. Oh, it's not the tree stump causing the problem? I need an adjacency. Alright, never mind. We're okay. Uh... Oh, is it going to go through existing terrain? I thought I had to knock everything down first. Looks like it'll place right over top of it. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if we get away with it. Uh-oh, ran out of blood essence. Well, that's why I do need this. So, split. Where are you? Build. Requires ground. No, <laughs> damn water. Uh, I have a lopsided castle. That's all right. I think that's good enough for me for now. So let's work on palisades. Palisade wall entrance gate and pillars required for connecting walls, but can also be placed individually. Light torches such as torches can be attached. Yeah. Uh. All right. So it's not going to let me put that there, I assume, blocked by the tree. Let's find out. All right, so it does block that. I can claim the ground underneath objects, but I've got to clear them before I can place actual physical stuff. Like that stuff. All right. Uh, I need to get something up so I have some protection from the sun that's coming up here real soon. So let's go with... You. You. Door here. Whoops, what did I make there? I thought I said to put a wall in. Did I run out of materials? Uh, Castle Heart has low essence, yeah. Thanks. Well, I have a ton of materials. So, why did I get that instead of a solid wall? And how do I blow stuff up? Hmm. Oh, now I have the wall. And <laughs> just out of range. Come on! <laughs> That's funny. Sun's coming up. Build. Um, doors can be placed in the entrance. This uh, oh space bar to dismantle. All right, I did change it to a hundred percent refund while I was doing this initial learning game. <laughs> it cannot be modified. It's until attached, huh? Alright, it's going to take a lot more walls to get this initial part finished up. I want... Another door there, so we'll put that there. I don't need know if I need this, given what's already here. 
I need to knock all this down to get the northern side done. All right, now we're going to start frying. So there's no roofing or anything? How do I not have all of this being in the bright sunlight during the daytime hours? There are roofs. All right. Guess we'll get to that. What do they want me to do? Place a wooden coffin, place a wooden stash. All right, let's get that done before anything else so we unlock whatever the next thing in their progression chain is. Uh. Oh. Just put a small stash in. Right by the door. Uh, rotate. <laughs> I know it's warm. Alright, what, what are you, you going to teach me next? Basic crafting. Hey! Hey, you! What the hell? <laughs> that cool? That cool, man. That cool. Come on, ranged attack. Construct and interact with a sawmill. Simple workbench. Increase your gear level by getting stronger equipment. I can do stronger equipment. Um, probably after I do those other things. Yeah, I saw the uh, the mist brazier. Um, let's spin this around. Frazier. I don't know what kind of an area. I wish it would show me, like, the area of effect it'll have. I don't have any idea how big the effect is. We'll just drop it down here for a moment so I can be in this area without difficulty, I hope. So do I have to interact with it? I do. Uh, Mr. Frazier. Uh, right click. Is that really affecting all the way out to here? That seems like a huge area. Getting hit here. I don't know if this is all the brazier or if this is some other stuff too. Uh, and I don't know how long this is going to last. So if I toggle it off, I can see the mist retreat back out again. Now with the sun slanting, I'm getting a lot of shade from the walls. Oh, now it's going back all the way. Alright. I got it. <clears throat> hey you, why don't you hold some weird stuff that I don't know what does yet. Uh, sure. Oh, I got stack limits. Hmm. Does it pull resources from the stashes when you want to craft, or is it only stuff in your own inventory? Hmm. 
Hello. Hello, Mr. Bear. Use blood men to exchange blood for health. Whoa! Sounds. <laughs> so, blood men expose vein. F holds to sleep, huh? Hmm. I don't want to sleep. Let's, uh, oops. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? Construct and interact with a sawmill. Production, I'm assuming. Crafting. Simple workbench. Refinement. Oh, man. Whoa. Uh, alright. Uh, let's do some production related stuff over here in this corner. I really like to get the walls up first. <clears throat> uh,. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> I had no idea you were back here. I'm sure he's friendly. Then <laughs> he disappears. Hey, got the skull thingy. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's not good. <coughs> Get out of my, my, my house. How far do you have to go to break contact with things? Stone. All the way back to where he was? Yep, he sure did. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem <laughs> if he's just gonna hang out there.
am I doing on my my alignment of walls? Ah, oh, crap! I'm gonna take this out too. Doesn't seem right. Got to put that in first. Then you can put that in. Yep. All right. Do I want one going that way? Nah, I don't think I'll bother. Alright, so I've got an internal area. We've got gates. Hopefully stuff will stop spawning in this middle of my little my little spot here. Uh, now I'm wishing... Let's move this thing if it'll let me. Give me my... Give me my, my bones back. Uh, construction mode. Space bar. Okay. Let's put it right... I'll put it right over here. Nah, let's put it on this side. <clears throat> Alright, now let's put the other stuff up. <clears throat> Build, uh, production, refinement. Does this thing have a correct direction? Probably doesn't matter. And then a simple workbench, which is crafting. Missing resources. Uh oh. Really? Oh, I need planks from the uh, sawmill. Ah. Alright, this gets more complicated. Sawmill, castle heart powered, confined castle room. As matching floor. Okay. <coughs> the 20 lumber is going to convert into a plank and a sawdust. Input, output. I don't have enough lumber. I guess I did just spend a whole crap load of it. Alright, we're going to go chop some trees. <coughs> Alright, so I see you got resource requirements for building, you've got ongoing upkeep requirements for blood to uh, keep the decay from happening, um, bones for the mist generator, I'm assuming there's probably going to be others. <clears throat> so you're forced to go out and about, you can't just pull up at your little camp the entire time.
be good enough for the moment. Three whole lumber. Alright, so... I keep wanting to separate that. I keep right-clicking to try to separate it. <laughs> Alright, feed that in there for now. I'll keep the rest. I'll let that run. Uh, I'm assuming you can have multiples if you want to really get stuff moving. Need more lumber. We'll just go with one for the moment. How many did I need for the uh, workshop? Eight. <clears throat> well, this is not a quick process. You get what, like 75 lumber out of an entire tree, which means you get three to four planks out of an entire tree. <laughs> it seems, seems a little miserly. Spell power, crit chance, crit damage, <clears throat> physical power, crit chance, crit damage. Mm -hmm. Resistance to the sun. Yeah, I know it's early days. I don't know how far the progression system goes yet <clears throat> in regards to tool efficiencies and all that. Okay, build. Simple workbench. And, and let's put it over here in this corner. What do you do, workbench? Better tools? Uh-oh, fancy stuff. So we'll go from bone to reinforced. And we're going to need copper. Grave digger ring. Plated <coughs> hmm. bone guard, huh? Runky. Yeah, this is not a quick process. I'm already starting to run low again. Hmm. Gotta learn to run along the edges of my walls here. Um, so I guess we'll go with the easy stuff first. I don't have a spear yet. Did I have an option for a bone spear earlier? Oh, I did. When did that show up? Back same stats. Long range attack deals thrust damage. Huh. Blue wield axes. Oh, that's because I got my axes out current. Here, switch this. <coughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> I don't want to stand here. I want to stand here. <laughs> Why you make me stand here? Please, 
Please, Shadow, creep just a little further. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite make it all the way to the wall. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the basics again. <clears throat> so we go up to uh, six gear score. Sure. Ah, oh, damn it, all my planks are gone again. Ouch. I assume with the increase in my tools, I'll be able to go get the copper, which will let me get these. Uh, we go for the plated? I don't know where, of course, the red comes from. Probably be a while before I get enough of that stuff, so we should probably just go for this stuff. <clears throat> just downgrade my gear? Where'd all my gear go? Oh, it's actually in the... Uh, I didn't know that... It, I thought it would just go into my inventory. Uh, transfer. There we go. Alright. Now gear level 14. <clears throat> we were at, what, 10 earlier? Uh... That equipped. And I need more, more timber. I can see chasing deer. Gonna be a problem. Go over here. Does the map show special. You annotate the map so you can ping a location. I'm assuming this pings if you have a clan. Add remove a marker, but can you like notate the marker? That's disappointing. Falling tree damage? <laughs> Didn't I have the claim button shining a second ago? And now it's giving me my gear levels one short. <clears throat> Should have gone for the, uh, the axe upgrade first. I would have been smarter. Just chop it all up. Uh, give me my bone 
Thanks. Alright, so that's my current primary weapon, both of my tools. I got I'm missing stuff for the rest of these. Copper. Already got the armor. Alright, so give me those. So it uses the previous one to make the new one. This replaces. Your level 17 claim! Technology unlocked. Blood altar. Track down a V-blood carrier. Claimed its knowledge as my own. Construct and interact with a blood altar. Uncover knowledge and new powers by drinking the blood of a V-blood carrier. Okie doke. Uh, we on fundamentals. Blood altar. Uh, too big. Over in the corner with you, blood altar. All right, so that's the altar. So I need to go find the alpha wolf. Track blood currently tracking, which means what? Is it pointing me to the cave? Or is it pointing me tracking the blood wolf? And sense my prey in the distance. Yeah, that's kind of the direction. Eh, not the direction of the cave, really. Right. <clears throat> we'll track him down in a bit. How are we doing here? 61. Uh, that. Do that. Keep that going. we got a big pile of saw, uh, wood sawing going on. Alright, it's just started in the night a bit. Let's go track down this wolf. Right after I... Whoa! Right after I kill a bear. Could have been using my sword instead of my axe. Let's go this way to get off the plateau. Hey, skeleton dudes. You're leading me that way, huh? Wolf Dan. Seems pretty obvious. <clears throat> uh oh. Alright, so can I can I gather this now? That's what I figured. <clears throat> I wish they mentioned it. I mean, people used to the conventions of these kinds of games can probably pretty easily figure that out, but they don't. They don't mention it. <laughs> Greater effect on minerals and rocks. Well, great. How about you actually mention unlocks copper or whatever? Something. Yeah, I mean this. This does not help. <laughs> Okay, I see Alpha Wolf V-Blood. Can we separate these guys or have to fight the whole pack? 
Time that one poorly. Hey, you. Alright, so he has a rage mode or something. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> he does kind of a quick spin maneuver there. Call on reinforcements? Yep, call on reinforcements. Uh oh, didn't get away that time. Back, back to rage mode. Ah, I'm it wrong again. Am I supposed to just kill him or am I supposed to Oh hey, get over there. Get over there. Tree knocking down. That's kind of funny. All right, vampire powers. Hold control. So we now have wolf form. Flame. Research desk. We'll deal with that when we get back. Go finish this off and grab some more stuff. What the heck? This, this has got like spiky stuff. Alright, what the hell did I just pick up? <laughs> I should have looked, I guess. Millstone, amethyst, gem dust. Alright, so it does have uh, gems for secondary materials. Uh, anything else I want while I'm here? Blood roses. <laughs> Alright, don't see anything else of particular note. There's some stone. Eh. Do need to feed soon. The moment we'll have a rat. Ability selection, so what do we got? These we know about. <clears throat> An ultimate ability? Unholy illusion, chaos, frost, vampire powers. So these were what I was curious about earlier. Where do I see the actual details? Oh, blood men consume blood per second, recover maximum health. Got it. Uh, expose vein, lower your guard, allow other vampires to drink your blood. Split your blood pool in half as you share your blood and blood type with another vampire. Eh? Emotes. Alright, and then, uh... Oops. form
Gavin the Shady Dealer. Is that like a merchant? How do I cancel the word? Oh, nope. <laughs> nope. Well, I damaged him. Sure, this is worth the effort. Can't quite circle strafe him. Uh-oh, is he going to reset on me? I think he's going to reset on me. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> and the Alpha Wolf again. Get him, Alpha Wolf, get him. <laughs> I think the Alpha Wolf's getting him accidentally. As it tries to get to me. That's funny. All right, my first interrupted by the sunlight fight. Yay. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Ten hit points, huh? I think we'll be okay now. Where do I find more of these tasty rats? Um... Wrong box. Branch uh, regimenter, same. Yes, do that. Well, did that really do what I wanted it to do? I'm not sure that did what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I'm just not in the habit of it yet. <clears throat> I was busy playing around with other stuff. Get back to work. I can do copper. I can't. Do, wait. Can I do copper? It shows the indicator. <coughs> but it says I don't have ingots. Yeah, I can't do those. They want me to do them, but I can't do them. All right, research bench. <laughs> Build uh, production research. Uh, I need stone, which I put away. So apparently it does not pull from containers. Um.
upgrade the castle heart interact. So, discover a random tech with paper, structures, armor, weapons. So is this the entire tech tree? And it's all just based on finding paper? I guess we'll figure out more about that later. So does this happen automatically now? Upgrade. Copper ingots and leather. Uh... Alright, what am I looking at? We've already got the workbench. Uh, furnace. Blood press. Vermin and nest. I assume that's where I get more, <laughs> more rats. And the grinder. Alright, I'm assuming we need a furnace. So, let's get a furnace going. Uh, I guess for the moment I will ascribe to the one type of item per material type. Yeah, let's put a little bit of space in. Um. Okay, so what am I looking at here? 20 copper ore. I've got a whole 25 with me currently. And I broke an entire pillar and only got one recipe's worth. And it also need, yeah, 20 ore into one ingot. Doesn't need any other material. Doesn't need wood or anything. Hmm. So we got quite a few items, various material combinations. Uh, I need more, lots more copper though. All right, what else did we have? <clears throat> I'm gonna ignore those for the moment. Dominance. Vampire lockbox. A unique container can hold up to 14 items. Enemy players cannot loot items from this container. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, ooh, we got flooring. We got stairs. Gargoyles. Balances. Has to go right on the bottom, does it? Apparently. for the moment uh, why are they highlighting oh I see walls 
Cancel gates. Reinforced pillars and entrances. Windows, wallpaper, a lot of stuff. <clears throat> we'll get to that stuff later. Um, all right, well, really, they're wanting me to do this, so I need to go get a lot of copper. And I need to get leather. Where do I get leather? Is it just from certain creatures? Have I been getting leather? Uh, I've got a little bit of paper. i got nothing resembling leather. I have animal hides. Must have to process animal hides somewhere. Reagent for crafting. Uh... Well, how do I upgrade the castle heart? Production, refinement, turning raw materials into bricks and dust. I don't see anything that looks like it's going to be specifically for leather. So, how do I do this without having the ability to generate that? Need to kill the next boss to unlock it? Uh, I'm not a real fan of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> uh, where was it? Which one? The Bee Blood. Healy the Frost Archer? <laughs> Rufus the Foreman? Errol the Stonebreaker? None of those are obviously part of that process. Hmm. I mean, copper I can try to go find, but... Alright, I don't remember if I had any other copper up on the plateau with me here. Remember, this is, is this the one that's too high? Yeah, it's the one that's too high. thought there was one down the slope here a bit. what, like three ingots worth? Hmm. There must be, like, copper-rich areas. Maybe I'll go check this cave passage. Maybe there'll be, like, copper underground in a cave or something. This was the bandit camp. I don't care about the bandit camp. Let's go in style. <clears throat> Keep forgetting to drink the blood. <laughs> All right, pretty much straight ahead of me. Hey, you. Above me, somewhere. I don't know, I'll have to go around to find the uh, slope up there.
Phoenix camp is hiding it all. Ow. Ah, of course. <laughs> Dang it. Multi stunned. Dude is having his way with me. Really? I can feed on him already? 33% brute blood. Uh, which one was it? Not that one. Ah, which one am I thinking of? <laughs> Not the map, not the clan. It wasn't that one. All right, where is the thing? Oh, that's the one I was looking for. So brute, 33%. So increase primary attack speed and gain one gear level. And primary attack leech, or life leech. Mm -hmm. Cool. One guy, the first guy, the big one, is the one that had all the stuff. Dude, that looks like leather. Give leather. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at all this beautiful leather sitting here. Give leather. Some thread. Hmm. More gems over there. Maybe daylight soon though. I wonder if I have to go up onto the plateau here and then come around to get to this cave. I bet you that's what the deal is. Oh, more copper. <clears throat> A rabbit. Whoop. He got out of his loop. <laughs> uh oh. I can loot while in animal form. That's cool. Bandit logging camp. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I missed, missed the spot I wanted here. Trying to get to it before the sun goes down. Oh, do it there as well, huh? Up above me. Another rise? I don't see a way up there. Ah, I don't see a way up there. Hmm. Are you hiding it in the, uh, nope, can't get, hey, hey! I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, I got stuck. Wow, and a whole bunch of windows just went crazy on me. Uh, cancel whatever that is. God dang it. All right, well, there's my first death. I got a bunch of crazy windows that popped open while I was stuck. Press X to respawn. I guess I'll press X to respawn. Do I have to go back and get my stuff? What are the consequences for respawning? That kind of sucked. <clears throat> Let's 
So, yep, yeah, I don't have any of my stuff except for my basic weapons. So apparently I do have to go back and get all the gear. Lovely. Hey you, I didn't mean to leave you running. I burned a lot of bones. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't see a way in there. I From the far side, I could see uh, right at the top there was something, but I don't know how to get into it. Must be some secret route in that I haven't found yet. <clears throat> Alright, so we've been along there. Uh, up and down the main trail. Planks, coarse thread, and paper. Well, hides, brave dust, morning little lily and bone, whetstone. Hmm. I would like to work my way back over there and check like this area here. Um. Do the uh, the resources respawn? So if you harvest copper and come back, like the next day, is the copper back again? I haven't been paying attention enough to that. So this is where we were earlier. I can just see... Yeah, right there. Something up there, but I don't have a way to. I'm wondering if a certain animal form would let me get up there. Probably what's going on. Need like a bat form or something to be able to fly up to that ledge. Alright, where the heck am I? Uh, I didn't see anything here. Let's go... I guess take a run through the bandit logging camp. I gotta go all the way across to do that. Form of a moose? I don't know. We'll find out. It's a pretty big map, <laughs> considering what I've the little tiny bit I've explored so far. A lot of, a lot of stuff out there. Thirty-seven bosses. We've we've only defeated the first one of thirty-seven. Thirty-six more to go. Um. Let's see, I should get uh, get, a, get a kill, get some blood. Sun's about to go down. I guess I'll just chop a tree while we wait for the sun to go down. Why don't we not chop the tree I'm hiding behind? see that I'm getting more wood out of the uh, larger trees. Doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah, 66 versus what? 78? I forget the number exactly. That's a big tree. Let's test it on this one. Hey! <laughs> I want to chop down this big mega tree. Nah, let's get downhill. Now that the sunlight's gone.
Oh, is that copper? Or is that the other one? Can't tell them tell them apart well enough yet. Oops, forgot I'm supposed to be draining these folks. Ooh, that sounds like a fun group. Go for you first. Whoa! Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. Physical power increase. Good enough for the moment. Got all this nice, convenient lumber sitting here that they don't let me take, right? <laughs> there seems like I should be able to get some free lumber there. Uh oh, box. What do we got? Paper, copper ore, and planks. No leather. Well, that was kind of wasted. Pick something or other? Not a water well. Cannot be teleported knowledge. Bring this book to a research desk. Oh, okay. So it's research. Cool. Item drop research things. And a lumberjack's <laughs> lumberjack's axes. Here level seven. So it is. Oh. Plus fifty percent physical damage to wood. I see. Uh, so put that in there. Not seeing copper anywhere. Uh, Came in from this side. I haven't gone down there yet. Rats! Good, just too late. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where the copper mine is. <laughs> so, nice to know there's a boss there, but uh, since I don't know where the copper mine's at, that doesn't help me any. We'll find it eventually. 
I could just start tracking down bosses. into the camp. Ouch. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot of animal hides, but I'm still not getting leather. I think we've seen most of what this place is going to offer. <clears throat> Set back to base, drop some stuff off, and uh, make some adjustments. I should form of the wolf it. Don't mind me, puppy dogs. some of these walls down. They're getting in my way. Okay. Uh, could have a good amount of that stuff.
All right, it's fairly straightforward. We won't have enough copper to, from what we brought back to get uh, all of that stuff upgraded. You're just going to be lucky if I get one of the tools upgraded. Twenty fire blossoms, only ten blood roses though. Oh yeah. And uh, that for that. That. Oops. Water well, so huh. all right, there you go. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Rufus the Foreman rewards some kind of power, the woodworking bench. Hunter's crossbow, fishing pole, sculpted wood, and painting frame. Keely the archer, there's the leather ability. Yeah, the tannery. Alright, so we'll track her. She's the one thing slowing us down at the moment, so off that direction. Um, we've got nothing new there. Need to go check how many copper ingots we actually got. Now we... Oof, that's not going to be enough. We're only going to have 13. Did I put some away earlier? I did not. Ah, we need 16. Alright, so we're still short on copper. <clears throat> we got a fair amount of planks going. Uh, I don't think anything new's been added, so... Oh, well, other than the water well. Did we get... Uh, flooring? Oh, we got flooring. Yeah, castle flooring. missing where it's showing me what I mean I see the materials here oh it's flooring generic then I have to get one of these two so stone bricks got it <clears throat> and we don't have bricks yet Might be another tool for that Middle of the day. Uh, I don't know if I want to go chase the archer down in the middle of the day. We'll wait. Let's grab uh, some more local raw materials. Yeah. Yeah. 
that copper I see right there? Or is that that other material? <laughs> I still can't tell the damn things apart. I keep trying to hold shift to sprint. Copper! Mr. Bear. Okay, we went in from here, so I can see, I think, to about here. I don't think there's any more hopper out that way. Bone on the ground. Um, oh, the copper mine. <laughs> well, there you go. <clears throat> copper ore, copper, copper ingots, and hell's clarion. Uh, so we can get there via roadway and roadway, huh? Sixty eight per cent rogue. What does sixty eight per cent rogue get me? Ten to twenty per cent chance to critical strike on weapon attacks, movement bonus, twelve to twenty five percent reduced cooldown on travel skill, hundred percent chance to critical strike on next physical track after travel skill. Cool. That seems pretty powerful. Now the sun's gone down. Hey guys. Let's... I am running a little low on health. <laughs> a little low on health. Hey, I see you down there. How far do you have to go for these guys to back off? Ah, oh, draining my beautiful rogue blood. All right, let's try this again. I don't have to get into quite so many fights at once. Not used to the uh, aggro ranges or trying to pull individual guys or any stuff yet. Uh, we just exploded him. 4%? No thanks. Alright, lots of guys that way. Is there an actual, like, mine mine? <laughs> Do I have to go all the way, like, back to here to get to the mine itself? That's, like, five guys. Oh, that looks like the mine right there. Yeah, right, let's give it a go. How many guys are we going to get? Just the initial group of three? Oh, nope, he added in.
All right, guys, more boxes. Let's go down. Uh oh, copper, copper, copper. It's just you and me, buddy. Reinforce something or other. I keep picking stuff up without looking at what it is first. Uh, another patrol, huh? Poachers, muggers. I'm gonna have to stop and grab. Some new blood here pretty quick. <clears throat> hey dudes. You don't want none of this, poor miners. They don't pay you enough. Sixteen percent, huh? Twenty three percent. Increased resource yield. Ooh, ten to thirty percent. By it only known. High quality miner blood. Blood of miners. <laughs> That'll get me in no trouble whatsoever with the YouTube sensors. Like we'll be able to get our upgrades done.
Yeah, he's he's a beefy looking dude. Errol the Stonebreaker, V Blood. Oh, he's one of the uh, one of the bosses. Can we try to take him while we're down here. How many guys between me and him? A couple of miners. I just got to get this patrol basically, and then it's just a few miners and it's a whole bunch more copper. Um, we're actually starting to get kind of full. I might not have enough space. Ah, made me waste it. Alright, you guys. You're going first. Ah, just missed him. Hey there, Errol. Hate to break it to you, but your days are numbered. Whoa. Ninety three per cent. I want to feed. <laughs> I want to feed. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> ah. Too cocky on that one. Break contact, please. At least they don't seem to be filling in behind me. I wanted to try out my 93%. 3% chance to instantly destroy a research node and trigger a burst of speed. And a 20% increased mount gallop speed. Damage against resource objects, increased yield. Yeah, look at that, man. All right, let's go in one more time. We'll try to be a little more serious about the fight. I gotta remember, I do have some salve. Healing effect is limited when in combat and breaks upon taking damage, so I gotta remember that. All right. Is all of, all of his buddies going to be down there waiting for me again? All of his summoned ones? I think it's back to the base ones. If you 
want this ore, you're gonna have to get through me first. I keep walking into that line of fire he's got. Can't see! <laughs> into it again. Ah, I, should, I needed to lure him over to the... Uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that ability. Swap abilities and powers with J. What did we... What did we gain? Uh, we had all these. Did we gain something? Oh, we gained Chaos Aftershock. Nothing new in vampire powers. In fra or it's in chaos. After shot. Alright, so we got him killed. We have the spoils. We are getting close to full. I still have my harvesting bonuses. <clears throat> up my harvesting bonus. One <laughs> percent. Yeah, let's not trade for one percent. <clears throat> Rats. 
Alright, I think that's it down here. Probably best just to take off. We're uh yeah, we're out of slots. Uh I think I'll heal. Then we'll go wolf form and just run out of here. <coughs> hmm. I should probably bleed somebody before I do. Goodbye, awesome worker bonus. Now they have come in behind me. Fourteen and one, huh? Kill you. Beat on you. Hey, gotta kill the other one. Unsullied hard inventory full. Uh, I don't think I care about that. All right, let's go to wolf form. Whoops! <laughs> and then of course I immediately cancel wolf form. Try again. Alright, well that was helpful. These are wolves. Uh, <laughs> I have some copper. Oh no, I have too much copper. We have filled the queue. Uh, I didn't chop much in the way of trees. Hmm. We're going to need another one of these things. Missing more lumber. <coughs> hmm. yeah, that's good enough. Err, I don't know what I'm gonna put over here. Well, let's put I guess all these materials that I didn't know where they went. more bones. Ah, crap. I left this thing running again. <laughs> I am gonna constantly forget about this thing. Always be out of bones. Uh, we did not bring back leather again. We gotta go kill that boss. Half the night's gone. Uh, hoping to get an upgrade done. 17. For the sword, need some planks. Level nine. Yeah. Sure.
Flanks suck. Man, flanks suck a lot. gonna be a while. I'll have to wait till I get back before I get that upgrade done. Uh, I don't know what to do with the old weapons that I don't care about either. process yeah I can see making three or four furnaces at that rate that's really bad <clears throat> all right well we got an upgraded uh, sword let's go see if we can track this person down before the sun comes up I turned off the uh, the lights I really need to bust this stuff down hey there mr. bear Where the hell are you sending me? It was off, yeah, that way last time. Big old plants. Don't mind me. <laughs> Come to visit. Give me a direction. That way. Okay. Winter's come early. Oh, that's you right. Be prepared. All right, this, this fight's going terribly. My ass kicked. Let the dogs out. Go get them, doggies. Whoa, what the hell was that? Got frosted. Ouch. All right, she's going to be fun. Hmm. Oh, they reset. God, I hate it. I always just miss the timing on that damn thing. Alright, she's roasting me. 
I gotta back off and try this again after I reset. Where can I go to reset, though? Hey, guys. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm gonna lose the nighttime, too. Great. I came all the way over here. <laughs> Thinking I could just kind of power right through it. Needed to clear on my way in, but since I didn't know who she was or where she was, wasn't able to. Uh, give me that. <laughs> nah, I don't want that one. Uh oh. What am I gonna do? Why is my screen all weirdly redded? I've got plenty of blood in the pool. Just proximity to daylight doing that? <clears throat> Seems weird. I guess that's probably a health bar indicator, yeah. We'll finish healing up. I had my hands off the keyboard. I was trying to take a drink of water. <laughs> I was unscrewing the cap to my my drink when all of a sudden the sun was hitting me. <laughs> Try this again. Jeez, drinking water in this game's dangerous. <clears throat> so where are we compared to home? Up near another vampire waygate. Not too far actually, just right down the main road. Put a marker in there just to remind myself in case I have to go back home. <coughs> hmm. uh, I guess I'm gonna drop some trees. I need a lot. I need a lot more lumber anyway. So, a tree chopping, we will go.
Whoa. Man trap. I meant there's a man trap there. Alright, sun's almost down. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the direction I need to go. All the road and then in. Uh, it'll be good to get some good blood before I try the big fight, too. <clears throat> go we can find out here. What's the cutoff? Like 25%? <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah, just missed it. So, life leech, huh? Not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. This time we're going to be a little more thorough in our initial clear. It's okay, life leech is doing me proud. Okay, we got a sleeping bear. That's a bear. Dude there. Roll there.
You Whoops. shouldn't be here. And soon you won't be. me just a little bit. Oh, I wander so close to those reinforcements back there. Uh, I guess wrong. Damn it. I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, that was a terrible choice. Terrible choice. <clears throat> hmm. I need to get in close to her and stay close as long as I can. Uh, that's actual leather on the ground. Oh, she's in the building. I want her. <laughs> I'm afraid to go in there though. Just barely see her, but she keeps shuffling back and forth on me. Freeze. Can't get her with my range when she's ranging me. Uh, I think I have to reset this and try again. Freeze. We're so close. Get the heal off. <laughs> Freeze! This call is different. popped out of something. Ready. Is the leather popping out of the walls? Yeah. Can't, can't hit the wall. Yeah, the only trick with her is I just needed to stop trying to hit her with ranged when she was trying to hit me. I, that's what got me most of my damage. Occasionally it was safe to fire, I just wasn't picking the times right. Get in on top of her with melee combat and avoid those freeze blasts and you're good to go. Alright, so we got a chest. Got a chest. <laughs> One leather. Let's 
So many rats in boxes. Okay, those guys in a minute. Whoops. Whetstone. <laughs> Whoops. Almost woke up Mr. Bear. Assortment of wonders. Hit and close to full. Uh, allergy. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, no, the archer's oh, back. Oh, crap. It's going to get a lot more difficult. Well, that was a faster respawn than I expected. Uh, I think I've mostly got the place looted. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> Assume it's looted. I'm out of here. Get away from me, wolf. What do these mean? Durability on my items is low. Fifteen out of four oh six and ninety six oh yeah, it must be durability low indicators. Uh oh. Alright, uh wolf form and need to go this way. Uh what's going on over there? Man traps and poachers. Whoa, level thirty. Thank you, no thank you. Well, well, well. What are the odds of this? Ah. Chaos Archer. Uh-oh. Oh. Memory leaks. Alright, get into the shade. Where the hell have I run? I'm going the right way. Following that main road. Uh, do I want that while I'm here? Do I have space for it? Maybe.
All right, down to the wide junction. The left. Got shade in there somewhere? I missed some earlier. I never did finish exploring this little plateau I'm on. <laughs> Could be more. I'm not going to worry about it for now, though.
Oh, I'm not talking much anyway. I just had a bit of a uh, <laughs> coughing fit a little bit ago, so I muted. I was coughing for quite a bit of time. <clears throat> but, yeah, I was just uh, sorting inventory anyway. No scintillating, deep intellectual conversations were being had, so you didn't miss out on anything. All right, so we got some big stashes. Uh, we got the uh, tannery up. What else am I missing? So we still only have the simple workbench. Oh yeah, I can do the upgrade for the blood now. Uh, what do we need? 12 and 12. <laughs> Nine. it all earlier. Oh, there. oh, copper ingots, not, not wood. All right, upgrade. Ammo. So we got two more slots to keep stacking up castle or uh blood uh what else happens oh capacity went up servant coffin i don't know what that's for yet covid bs yeah pretty much it's the covid cough post covid cough tough to get rid of Flame. <clears throat> Technology unlocked mirrors. Complete a castle room by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. Huh. Does that require the room to be a certain size? It's not just going to auto put a, <laughs> a roof over this? Hmm. with this really other than just getting the upgrade done and then slotting in more and more <coughs> blood what it looks like alright anything been added to this this wasn't here earlier should probably make some more vermin salve so bones plant fibers and rats yeah, yeah. I know. It burns. It burns. stuck in these weird positions. I don't know what's going on, but it, it pauses me for a bit. Because yeah, I'm going to have to go farm bones. is good enough. Got it. 
Don't have it yet. Planks and stone for the blood press. Didn't make one. And haven't made one yet. No, I haven't built the rat, rat hut thing. So you either have to go out and find the books for the tech, apparently, or you accumulate paper, and then you can hit discover, and it'll randomly unlock one. That seemed to be the tech way that I am, uh, I am assuming here. Don't have enough paper yet. And I assume this just gives you a safe place to sleep, or hide from the sunlight, or whatever, but it doesn't actually advance time, because... A multiplayer server type game. Press space to wake up. But I don't even get to see the time thingy? <laughs> huh. Weird. I wish it would at least leave the time up so you'd know <laughs> when the sun went down or whatever. I guess you could kind of tell from the graphics behind, but it just seems a little weird. <clears throat> uh, complete a castle room by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls. So, I don't really have a room type of setup ready to go. I guess I could do an offshoot. Expand out the building size. Do another room. Um... Eh, how about we push this wall out, we'll go out and across, and then we'll make this a room with a few of these types of things. Then. What am I going to need? Uh, that and that. Lumberjack axe got this done faster. Essence. That's right. Got to have a bunch of that on me. Uh, I think I got some over here still. Uh, or not. Got a tree. Plant fibers. Uh, forgot about those. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> God damn fair. counters and I was not doing them for some reason. <clears throat> I just want a, want a door. Oh, that's right. I need stone brick. I don't have the stone brick yet. Uh, let me guess. The one boss I haven't taken on is going to be the guy. Rufus the Foreman is going to give me the stone. Oh, that's woodworking. Well... Would have expected the stone breaker. So where do I get where do I process stone at? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's my only option. Stone brick, stone brick. Pick a pattern. I don't have access to stone brick yet. <clears throat> Four whetstone. I don't think I've found four whetstone yet, have I? Yeah, I only have the one. Map. Whetstone. Bandit encampment just to the south. All right, so a trip straight south, basically. I'm gonna get some more whetstone. <clears throat> Game's not real good about giving that kind of information on these kind of progression roadblocks. Kind of puzzle your way through them once you got some idea of how things work. But <clears throat> seems like there should be, I don't know, if not a civilopedia type thing, some some way of gathering that information without having to go out to an external source. Frost, chaos, only ones we've gained. Here I am running this thing during the daytime or the nighttime again.
Whoa. Gore Swine the Ravager, 27. We play with Gore Swine. Why not? We're right near home. Die for me! Die for me! Come here, gore swine. <clears throat> Hey! <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm okay with one boss. I'm not okay with two of them. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> That's kind of rude. I'm assuming they don't normally travel together. Follow me still. Yes, go run, go run away, boss. I don't need none of that. <laughs> they both followed me. Yeah, they were just annihilating the camp. That's funny. <clears throat> yep, yep. And I'm down. <laughs> Little cadre of archers. Uh, that's funny. That's funny there. Now I gotta unfortunately come back and get my gear. <laughs> With gore swine camping my body. Easy run. <laughs> Oops, I went out the wrong side. I don't think get around here. Nope, they're not gonna let me around there. Yeah, I'm gonna assume I I, I mean maybe those two travel together but it sure seems like I got uh, I got a second boss spawn on top of the first boss spawn which kind of sucked like I could have taken uh, treant hey there treant skull difficulty huh All right. leave you alone <clears throat> Countered while trapped. <laughs> One percent. <clears throat> I'm going to burn.
I got two hit points. I got two hit points. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Goddamn son. Couldn't get back to the shadow in time. <clears throat> that was just really bad on my part. Just really bad. <clears throat> All right, I'm starting to learn my lesson about this sunshine stuff. At least I got my gear back to where, uh, in the shade. Let the bear out? Nah, I just need to be more careful. <laughs> That's all it is. Just me not being careful. Okay, I'm here for a reason. <laughs> I'm trying to get the, uh, the whetstones. <clears throat> so I don't know if they're a loot item in the boxes, like that treasure chest there, probably. <coughs> hmm. ah, I got the whole group. I think they can fire through the fencing here. Again, God damn it, it's doing it again. Ah, these controls are pissing me off. Every once in a while, things start to happen, and then my controls stop working. It gets me in these weird angles, and I can't, I can't get it to respond for a while. And then I end up burning tremendously or getting caught by a bunch of guys. It's really starting to piss me off. Ah. One of these days, I'm going to learn the lesson of daylight. <clears throat> or I'm going to rage quit because the controls keep freezing up on me. One or the other. <laughs> hey, guys. Why are you in my camp? in the corners. Yeah, controls would be fine, keyboard mouse, if they would just not get me into these weird situations. And once where it went crazy on me and when I was trying to move the mouse around, it was Skipping outside the borders of the window and opening up all sorts of uh, windows and stuff. Really annoying. Alright. Let's try not to get into any really big scrums with all the bad guys at once this time. <clears throat> Hey, Mr. Bear. Hmm. See if they'll come down here to fight me. Oh, level 26. <laughs> Missed again. I'm trying to pull me into the sunlight. Uh, 
I just want a few whetstones so I can get this thing made. There's almost no shade over there. Little tiny butt right there. But the moon's coming up anyway. Alright, give me some whetstones. There are no whetstones in there. Whetstone. Alright, let's go break stuff. Now oh, crap. They're resetting again. Uh fine. Deadeye. That's the guy who was wrecking me earlier. Come here, you. No, no, there will be none of that. <clears throat> Only 8%, unfortunately. Alright, so looted. One whetstone. Silver coins! Clay. That's new. Uh, why am I all sparkly? Carrying silver! Ow. Ow. <laughs> am I taking constant damage? I am. Am I healing it up again? 148. 148. 49. I need to get over my silver allergy. All my gear's starting to get trashed, too. Uh, I think that's almost everything. Except for the bear. Spawns. Dead eye again. I think I'm gonna get that one. <laughs> Naturally. The hell? Is the silver preventing me from switching to animal form? Must have other effects than just the uh, semi constant damage. Oh, never mind. Taking damage is kicking me out of wolf form because I'm carrying silver. I'm constantly taking damage. I understand. I get what's going on. All right, let's get rid of some silver. Where are you at, silver? Enough of that nonsense. Let's see. That stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with glass. <clears throat> and for more boxes. Why did, did I loot that? Must have looted that. Alright, yeah, I haven't replaced those pieces of gear yet because we are needing uh, bread or something like that. Uh, did we bring back enough? I didn't even look. We did. 
Alright, so what was I trying to build? Uh, refinement. Grinder. Planks and ingots. Okay, so what do we got? Stone into stone bricks and stone dust. Clay and stone brick into stone body. Clay and canteen or water for clay molds. Grave dust, magical components, and some spectral fancy stuff. Oh, we ran out finally. We actually pile drive through all my raw materials. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> four thread. I can't remember how much I need for the recipes. Grab that. Oh, 24 thread. I think we have enough now. And we'll grab some. Uh, lost track of what I was trying to do. Oh, stone. <laughs> Got distracted. <clears throat> All right, grinder, get to work. Cloth for the traveler's wrap. I might have four. How many do I have? Oh, I got two. Till it finishes all of them. Either tender roast. Yeah, it's been a while. <clears throat> what do I think of it so far? Uh, I'm hoping there's more to it. <laughs> it's it's feeling like you're gonna need. PvP to add in quite a bit because uh, already with a little bit I've learned and getting a little better at some of the combat stuff I'm still doing pretty poorly I, I think you could pretty easily power through at least all the early game stuff I've seen I don't know how deep it goes in regards to the castle setup stuff and how deep the crafting chains go and all that so it's a little early for me to pass any kind of a real judgments or give opinions um, seems fairly well put together, and the ideas behind it seem pretty solid. I just have had a couple of really annoying control interface issues um, that have kind of set me off a bit, but uh, no real big deal. But I'm kind of interested and curious. My plan is just to play... I'm not planning on playing an entire playthrough in single player. I just wanted to play at least one... Solid session, so I could get all the uh, the basics understood and the progressions and all that, and then uh, probably switch over to uh, the community server and uh, have some of the regulars join me for a community game. First one of which will be PvE, and then I might open it up for a PvP version. I'm not averse to it. <clears throat> I just don't know if I'd have enough people that would be interested in doing PvP that uh, would make inhabiting this size of a map it would really have any meaning. But I'm not sure yet. So, we shall see. But I do think the grind is going to be real. I'm already detecting how things are going to be going and how the grind is going to get. <laughs> it's going to get pretty serious, I think. I ain't afraid of no grind, generally. But I can see it putting off a lot of other people if it continues the way I think it's going to. So, 
Uh, what was I working on? Grabbing my gear. So we got our clothing. So that's now upgraded. That installed. I still need to figure out what to do with the old gear. It just... I mean, do you just throw it in a box? Do you throw it away? Can you throw it away? Actually, I've never tried to throw anything on the ground. Yep, you can throw stuff on the ground. So, I don't know what to do with this stuff. Equip it, drop it, repair it. I don't just space bar to drop it. That's that's a lot faster. Does it despawn after a while? I I don't know. Is it infinite? <clears throat> Starting to accumulate a lot of inventory slots with just junk. I'm not a fan of. Uh, storage. Big stash. Whoops. Hey, how come that one got set further back? Away, you. Big stash. There. So, till I know, I guess I'll put that stuff in this rearmost box. <clears throat> Not trying to sleep. So we'll go top this thing up. Yeah, I'll just throw it in a box. In a box, it's fine. I know I haven't gotten to the end of the main progression stuff. <clears throat> I was waiting for enough <coughs> stone blocks that I could just get this unlock done. This little room over here. Let's go see if we have enough. I don't have a feel yet for just how many of the various crafting stations I might want to build. It's better to have like two sawmills, two uh, forges or furnaces, three stone grinders, two or three of the tanneries. I don't know yet. <clears throat> uh, what was it for the flooring? Uh, castle, floor, blood essence, and stone bricks. So, give me some of that back. Who's, sh who's shooting at my walls? What's going on out here? Oh. What the hell? <laughs> stupid, stupid wolf. I should know better than that nonsense. Alright. Let's try this again. So. <clears throat> let's go with the diamond pattern, I guess. So... Did not create the roof. Hmm. Laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. being terribly obvious about this stuff. Definitely no roof. I'm gonna burn. It's walls all the way, except for my, my door.
Is it not Palisades? Do I need a different material type? Oh, I wonder if I need these. More stone bricks and planks, but I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 80 bricks. It's going to take forever to make 80 bricks. If I'm guessing right, if I'm, if I just can't put roofs on the uh, wooden palisades. Ah, that's going to take forever. Well, I can't just spam out grinders right now because I don't have the uh, <clears throat> the whetstones to do it. I have to go farm more whetstones. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is that it's because I've got wood instead of the stone to get a ceiling. All right. Well, I think for the moment, I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop right there. It's a good four hours in. I got a pretty good feel for the uh, the initial game and progression and all that. Um, I'm not sure if I'll continue this particular run or jump into the co-op server. I might just fire up the co-op server tomorrow, and. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about spoilery type stuff in this kind of a this kind of a game, uh, so I'll probably open it up to suggestions and all that kind of stuff tomorrow as well. Uh, so yeah, so that's the plan. So that's what we'll do. So that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Hanging out for some V Rising, playing vampires. It's vampires, not zombies. <laughs> Finally, some other undead. But uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. I'm liking parts of it. I'm looking forward to. I don't know if it balances the co-op gameplay with more enemies or stronger enemies or what. You got a group of like four or five humans, real people running around helping each other. Does that trivialize the fights or do they actually ramp them up in some way? Um, those are the kinds of questions I need to get answered now uh, to find out how I want to configure the uh, the game world. Uh, we'll do just a default game world initially till we uh, we get comfortable with everything. Then we'll, uh, we'll start cranking things up in different ways. Trying to find the fun. So, thanks again. Have a great evening. Stay safe out there.